Hey yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, I'm back on my iPhone 2019 career mode. This time we're in Russia. So, um, yeah, as you know, we won the last race, which we got quite lucky with. Um, because for whatever reason, Hamilton just broke down or crashed or so, I don't know. And Vel had problems as well, and so did Bias. So everyone pretty much had problems, so it was quite a weird race. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to be dry for qualifying and the race again. So, yeah, let's just jump straight in to qualifying then. Back to Sochi. We're about to be joining the action down in the pit lane as the cars get ready to embark on their qualifying runs. It always looked like the kind of track that asks an awful lot of the rear tyres, such as the frequency of low speed exits. Lots of low speed exits means the rears are in for a lot of punishment. It's all too easy to spin them up coming out of a corner too aggressively. It might look great for us as spectators as we love to see a car driven beyond its limits, but it's not going to result in a great long run pace. So yeah, it looks like we have a car in front of us. It's a Renault of Hulkenberg, I think. Pretty sure that was. I'm not too sure. I can't quite see his name tag from here. But yeah, hopefully we don't get blocked up by him too much. Oh, it's actually Ricardo, not Hulkenberg. Apologise about that, Ricardo. Uh, is he setting his lap or...? Okay, no, he's just started his lap. So yeah, just as I have, I'm starting my lap now. So we will flip this DRS open perfectly there. I thought it was going to be bad, but no, it wasn't too bad. Get some pretty nice slipstream down here. Uh, not too bad. Um, I feel like the card is going to get in the way of that, so the problem now. Uh, especially, I've got a good setup as well. Uh, but we'll just keep pushing on. Hopefully, he doesn't get in the way. So, yeah, I knew it. He would get in the way. So, I just slipped straight in really nicely. Dive straight down inside of him on this corner. And, uh, well, got past him pretty nicely there. We'll get some nice slipstream down here. But I think it's going to be bad, really, this, uh, this lap. Because, obviously, you know, uh, he's right in the way. And I'm definitely going to have to get past him on this next corner. I do get past him. I kind of use him as a breaking point as well, so it kind of didn't what, turn out too badly. I mean, it'll lo it cost me a little bit of time, but I'm still on pole already at the moment. I just need to carry on. A bit dodgy there on the final corner. Not the final corner, but the final few sector. And um, we'll try and take it nicely. We're already at second up, which is incredible. And the final corner now anyway, and we'll take an easy pole position. Here we go. Welcome one and all to the Russian Grand Prix. We're just a stone's throw from the Georgian border here at Sochi as we get ready to begin the race that served up an absolute cracker back in 2015. A last lap collision between Kimi Raikkonen and Valtteri Bottas sparked controversy in that race, so let's hope the racing is just as tight today. Situated just three miles from the Georgian border, the 3.6 miles Sochi Autodrome has two notable overtaking opportunities into turn one and then turn 13. 18 corners in total here, 12 to the right and six to the left, and it's an average lap speed of around 130 miles per hour. Anthony Davidson is here once again for today's Grand Prix. Let's talk about Reeves. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. The boss wants another podium finish this weekend. I know you're more than capable. Alright, so yeah, let's do this then. Right, so we go, so it's quite a long straight, so we kind of need a good start here, but it's five red lights. It's lights out, away we go here for the 2019 Russian Grand Prix. Obviously, Perez is at second, so he could even take the lead here in this race. We have to take a little bit of a wider line since he is going past, and he has taken the lead for a few seconds here. It's incredible by Perez. We're going to break really late here. Uh, his teammate Leclerc hit all the way down the order. He had a bad qualifying, but we do manage to keep luckily first, so... We just got to keep pushing on now, and hopefully we can maybe take another win, uh, which would be incredible to say the least. But um, Perez is definitely sticking with me. I'm going to turn that down a bit actually, because I don't want to run out of EOS quickly. Um, I almost forgot about that. So uh, yeah, we just got to keep pushing on really, and hopefully we can win again and take a win. All right, so let's see. It's going to be perfect start then. So it is five red lights, and it is lights down. Away we go here for the Russian Grand Prix. I'm going to have a fairly decent start, but Perez has a really good start. And it's the inside line there. And actually takes first for a few seconds there. Um, just before the corner. And then we just break super late. 
and just managed to retake the lead from Perez from on the outside. And uh, Hamon looking to make a move on him there, but Hamon backs out of it, and I managed to keep the move on Perez and lead the race. And Perez, well, he manages to keep second from Hamon. Oh no, oh no, I missed my breaking point. Oh damn, okay, I missed my breaking point completely there. Oh, I've gone massively out wide there, and that's like, that's like Perez and Hamilton through. Oh no, that's that's not good. That's really not good. I might have to yield here through here. Oh, with me and him are side by side. I do just keep the move, luckily. That was close though. Can't believe that. I just went a little bit wide, but yeah, so Perez has got past me and taken the lead at the moment. We have to bat off Hamilton. But luckily we do just keep the move because we had the inside line on that corner. But we got to be careful and try and catch back Perez now. Oh, the, uh, Pierre Gasly's out. What? Race. Oh my god. What the heck? Why is Gasly out? Okay, so Gasly's out. Wait, where's Hamilton? Wait, Hamilton's out as well. Wait, that's Bottas. Oh my god, Verstappen just tried to lunge down the inside. It's made him stick perfectly on Bottas. But where's Hamilton? So Gasly's out, but where's Hamilton? I'm so confused. What? Okay, well, uh, it looks like Hamilton is just gone. Wait, is he pit? No, he hasn't pitted. No, is he pitted? No. Oh no. Sebastian stopped. His race is over. Oh shit! Sebastian Vettel's race over. What? What happened to Sebastian? Oh. What oh, shame. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I gotta try and, uh, uh, you know, play this out by here then. And Ferrari have full attention on me then, I guess. Alright, let's just hope he doesn't break too much in this corner. I'm just gonna dive down this side to screw it, get out of the way. I'm, I'm getting past quick. A uh, quick and easy move there. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just going for fast lap attempts, so I really wanted to get past him quickly. I did it really nicely, just dove straight down the inside of him here. And made the move stick perfectly, push him out of the way a little bit, but made the move stick perfectly. As long as I just make a quick move. Anyway, Albon is head. Let's flip the deal so he perfectly slipstream really nicely. Here we go. Overpowered slipstream. We'll tuck it to the inside and fly past Albon. Wasn't even hard, really. And we, we barely leave him any room, but we made him stick perfectly on him. Let's just see that again then. So I just slipped through him really nicely with DRS. Obviously, he doesn't have it because there's no one in front of him. So we're right around the outside, tapping Butch a little bit, but made him stick perfectly on him. And uh, yeah, that's the move made stick perfectly. And I don't think I'll get DRS because I think I'll overtake Butler by then. Not too sure though. Oh, maybe Butler, but maybe not Ricardo. I'm trying to fly past him. I've, I've corner cutted, yes, but I didn't actually get past him, so. Oh, there is a bit of yellow on Butler's car on the tour, so. New update. Uh, but we'll flip the DOS open anyway and get some nice straight. Butler also gets DOS, well, for Mercado and me. But, uh, oh my god, that just shows the DOS sort of advantage right there on Ricardo that I had. And oh, I almost went right into the back of him, so I had to, like, just run off the track just a little bit. Um. Anyone pitted? Anyone else pitted? Oh, that's a... No, that's not a racing point in the pits. Racing point still needs to pit. He's leaving it late. Like, really late, which isn't a good idea. Alright, so Alice is novice. There's two more people in the pits. This could be for a podium. This is for a podium, basically. Uh, so he gets past the two. Alright, thanks for that, Jeff. But I will slipstream and get DRS on Norris. And just try and get past him before the corner. Uh, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I'm slipped through him really nicely. But I will get him on the corner. Uh, so that's another move up to a podium position again. So yeah, that move on Norris is pretty good to be fair. We had to fire away for the grid really. But we just flipped it. That's even perfectly obviously. Slipped through him really nicely. He touched the inside. But I tuck even more to the inside. Dive straight down inside of him. And made him stick perfectly on him. So yeah, there's Leclerc in the pits then. Um, he should finish third to be fair. I'm not too sure yet. But... We're just, we're just harvesting, well, not really harvesting, we're trying to harvest all the fuel and stuff that we have, uh, so we can try and make a uh, final attempt, but, you know, it's, t it's two laps to go. Do, do I think I can still have this? It's going to be tight, it's going to be tight. It could be a final lap overtake, and we know how them turn out. <laughs> so here we go then, so I'm going to turn it up to overtake, turn that up to Rich. 
we will flip the DS open with Slipstream. And we're just going to glide past Perez. He runs me off the track there. I almost completely take him out, but luckily I don't. And uh, we're up to first. And we're probably going to win this race then. And Grosjean's retired, great. I can't believe that. We're going to win this race again just because racing points, terrible strategy. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with that though. We managed to make the move. And we're probably going to win this race if our car just doesn't break down, hopefully. Right, final few corners then. I can't believe this. We've actually won because of luck, basically. And racing points, bad strategy, but we win the Russian Grand Prix. Ferrari have really pulled it out of the bag today. It's a great win. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? Well, staying out of trouble is probably the most important factor here. In the race where half the field weren't classified at the checkered flag, you were able to guarantee a good result by basically keeping the car running. With their pace and a decent strategy as well, I don't think the race was ever really in doubt. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Lance Stroll certainly put in an impressive performance today. No doubt his team and fans are extremely proud. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. So, yeah, a uh, pretty really good race. We won. Um, Perez second, then Leclerc third. Lance Stroll good in the McLaren fourth. Um, George Russell eighth in Williams. Fair enough. Uh... And Sebastian Vettel retired. Oh my god, quite a few people retired. Max Stappen retired, Pierre Gasly retired, Lewis Hamilton retired. And where's Valtteri Bar sixth, so not very good result for him again. Not great for these pit guys at the moment. Oh, we're second in the championship. We've moved up. Hamilton's moved now, we've moved up. So at the moment it's a Ferrari 1-2 in the championship. I'm 34 points behind Vettel, we could actually win this. And obviously we're just we're just we're we're so far ahead in the construction standings. Ah, uh, here we go then. I thought this was gonna happen. So we've got checkpoint challenge at Azerbaijan, the 1976 Ferrari. We've got a pursuit in the 1932 Williams. I'm gonna have to go for Azerbaijan just because Vel's going and it's also a Ferrari. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this. Okay, so here we go for this checkpoint challenge. Then. I think what I'll do is what I usually do, which is just you know show some little clips of replays and stuff like that and show you a whole lap of uh, me really pushing this car to the limit and see you know how well we do. I'm going to let you listen to a lap of me driving around the 1976 Ferrari and just not comment over it so enjoy.
So uh, yeah, just come up to the castle of Kane, and uh, we'll try to take it really nicely, and then we just completely smash the barrier. But uh, luckily, just smash the carrier and not spin it. Right, so uh, did we pass the challenge then? Yes, we did. Easily. Um, now, did we beat Vettel? That's the main question. And we beat Vettel. Get in. That's great. That's great news. I'm just going to quickly do some upgrades uh, in this video. Uh, so, we'll upgrade that. Yep. Anything else? Yep. We'll update that. And that. Because we've got so many points. And it's unbelievable. Because I haven't been doing it in quite a while. Um guessing we're upgrading literally everything then uh yeah so um i'm gonna leave this video here if you enjoyed this video then make sure to like and subscribe but thank you for watching and goodbye